<laughs> Yay! Thanks for coming out. Do we have video from what happened last yeah, night? Yeah, it's already up. Yes. Um, so, APD is going to claim that that I interfered with what they were doing. We came up on several stops last night. Every single time we came up to a stop, we got out, we recorded, we never engaged with a single officer. The only time we ever talked to an officer is when they came up to us and started talking with us. At one stop, an officer politely said, hey sir, it's cool, you guys can film here. I'm just asking you, you stay away 30 feet. I said, that's fine. I said, can I go stand up there? He's like, no, it's not comfortable up there because you'll be behind the officer. I said, well, have it over there in front of the car. He said, sure. Thank you very much. Last word I said to him, I filmed along with three other people. Not an issue. However, some people, like the guy who arrested me, Barry, has an issue with people watching them doing their job. And so then they go ahead and fabricate, you know, false threats and they fabricate interference and then they use that to push us around. And yesterday, I guess it finally caught up to me. Um, you know, I met someone who was a little bit more imbalanced and uh, immature than other cops who just uh, resorted to pushing us around and yelling at us. And he arrested me even though I never engaged with uh, the officers. Um, he was a officer who was just standing around with his hands in his pocket. So, um, I don't know what this is gonna what's gonna happen with this. Um, I'm pretty sure that Art Acevedo is not gonna have the courage to do what's right and discipline this officer and make sure that these charges are uh, dismissed, you know, out of hand because on their face they're BS. Um, I'm sure that they're going to lie just like they lied with the New Year's uh, Eve case. Um, but we're gonna keep fighting it. And uh, you know, thanks uh, for everyone who came out last night and everyone who's filming elsewhere and everyone who came out uh, today to support. Uh, you know, this effort, so thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you look tired. <laughs> I actually slept well. It was better than the last time. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, well, now I know what it's like, right? The second time is always So I spent a lot of yeah. my time talking to uh, other people in there about Excellent. what the liberties are and what <laughs> Excellent. Cecil Streets does. And the, the guy who uh, we were filming, he apologized to me, so. Oh, and the guy that was Excellent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they give you your camera back? Oh, they took my camera. So just like New Year's Eve, they're going to suppress evidence so that we don't get the full story. It's already up. Yeah, yep, the video it's already camera up. that I had videotaped it from my position from the entire thing, from when it started all the way until the end. I told two of the four people who were filming Go catch up with the other guys because there's nothing to see here. We're just gonna walk, walk them down, lock them up, and then we're gonna bounce. No more than a minute or so. And that's when they arrested me. You know, I said, can I have my camera when they arrested me and take my personal belongings? They said, no, it's evidence. Well, from what I understand, the evidence is the video. Yep. And that's something that they can copy and they can give me the camera back so we can go ahead and have that video. But just like New Year's Eve, they're gonna suppress it. They're gonna cover it up not because of an investigation, it's because Art Acevedo, uh, the chain of command, internal affairs, and the police officers union, they care more about corrupt cops in the thin blue line than they care about our rights and liberties as people, <laughs> that's as, right. as yep. residents of Austin. And that's what's wrong. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Oh no, it's a glass bottle. <laughs> Did you guys have any direct questions in any of the media or anything?
command. The problem is not just the force you know, it's the cost of the police department, it's the chain of command, it's the police officer's command, it's the internal affairs. They're all engaged in a cover up. And this is how pathetic it is. Very vague statement, 
and it was meant to apply to anyone. It's a bullying threat type statement saying that he may be engaged in criminal activity. I'm not engaged in criminal activity. I'm engaged in my First Amendment activity, right? And the criminals are the cops who use uh, control, these are our arbitrary orders to arrest these people who have not committed any crime or any form of threat to anyone. And then the chain of command who backs them up and uh, allows these drugs and charges to go through. You know, I don't believe that Ira Rodrigo has done a thing about um, the cops who try to trample comrades or all the cops who are flashing their lights and are going to kill me or pushing them around. Thank you.